this is probably small college basketball at its finest tonight. I think uh, anybody that was fortunate enough to come watch the game saw two teams just battle their hearts out. And my hat's off to Columbia College for a phenomenal finish. But I think uh, what people are going to be talking about is the shot that Melvin hit, uh, the three-point shot to at least put it in that position right there towards the end. Um, That's a tough loss uh, to have when you play so hard. But uh, it's night and day difference compared to uh, the Friends uh, University game here a few nights ago. Uh, our team came out and battled tonight and uh, it showed a lot of good signs uh, for a team that's um, planning to uh, compete for the conference title. And, you know, you're taking the fourth ranked team uh, in the nation to the last possession of the ball game. So from a coaching staff, I think we're, we're very pleased. We had a couple of areas that we obviously need to work on uh, a little bit, but you know, you're talking about you know, playing against the number one defense in the country last year and, you, and a team only has six turnovers. And uh, you know, this early in the year for a new team that's being put together to take care of the ball that well is special. And our shooting percentage wasn't great tonight. I wish everybody shot the percentage Melvin here did. But a 32-point performance tonight is, is rather phenomenal. I think uh, people are starting to take notice of what this team is, is capable of doing. We just got to find a way to be more consistent uh, and carry it out uh, start to finish. Uh, two deficits, both halves by 13 points, uh, says a lot about our character. And we fought back and got in the game and uh, had some chances to send this to overtime. So, uh, but um, I'm pleased with our effort as, as, as a coach. Uh, I think our fans uh, are very happy with the performance. Obviously, it's a loss. But uh, I think we're excited about playing these guys in a couple more weeks uh, over Thanksgiving break.